This is Channel 2 News, coverage you can count on. We could see a number of different things uh, uh, happening with, with the insect populations. Our unusually warm weather is bringing out some of the area's six-legged creatures well ahead of schedule. What types of insects you may already be seeing in tonight's Channel 2 News Big Story. Jeff Knight, the state entomologist we just heard from there, said a lot of bugs are coming out from hiding and some are getting ready to hatch. Oh. Of course, this is well ahead of time and all because of our high temperatures. I know. Good <laughs> evening. I'm Wendy DeMonte. I'm Kristen Revington. <laughs> Thanks for being with us tonight. Some of you may have already seen moths and box elders, but this means it could be a long, long oh, buggy no. season ahead. <laughs> oh, no. In terms of long term cause and effect, that's hard to predict, though. Paul Nelson joins us live in East Reno after speaking with experts about these early arrivals. Paul, it's pretty unusual, though, to see bugs out this early in the year, right? It is, Kristen, but what we're, what we're seeing with insects is a lot like we've already seen with plants, where the weather warms up, the trees start budding. Well, with insects, the adults start coming out and the eggs start hatching. <coughs> the warm and sunny weather has more than just the birds enjoying the outdoors. People are also taking advantage of the spring-like weather, along with those of the six-leg variety. Insects being cold-blooded, as soon as it starts warming up, things start happening with them. Knight says what's happening now is more common around the 1st of April. I'm seeing a lot of activity in my own yard of things that are, uh, you know, not normal for another month or so. Knight says box elders and clover mites tend to come out first, and if the warm weather continues, we'll see even more species. Definitely the honeybees will come out and uh, go out and explore things. They're not going to find much at this time. Eggs generally start hatching once the daily average temperatures are higher than 45 degrees, which they have been lately. In years past, we've seen large populations of nuisance insects like Mormon crickets. By hatching this early, they have more time to lay eggs, but on the flip side, they could likely face a deadly cold snap before spring. Even though there may be food, and it cool, but it cools off for another couple weeks and maybe rains, hopefully, um, that'll actually take care of the population. The state and county also keep an eye on mosquito populations, especially with West Nile virus in our area. Insects react very quickly to weather, so it's unknown how the warm temperatures and ongoing drought could affect insects this year. We do see things in the insect populations that are keyed to droughts uh, over the years, and it's just another one of those things we'll have to deal with as it comes along. And Knight says if the temperatures keep being this warm, we're probably going to see an increase in populations in things like yellow jackets. But if we end up having a cooler spring, we'll probably see an increase in bugs like aphids. Covering the big story live, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.